Honduras? Yeah. Honduras cedar. Now, if I could play blues. But I can't. Can't play anything anymore. Some would say I never could. And it'd probably be right. Used to think I was a good guitar player. Yeah. Used to think I was Ireland's answer to Eric Clapton, or I would be someday. Oh, the foolishness of youth. <laughs> it's what dreams are made of, though, isn't it? This is, and I can't play the blues, needless to say, but if I could, this would be, this would be one of my uh, choices for sure. Um, back in the early 90s, um, Nick Webb of Acoustic Alchemy uh, approached me and asked me to, to design a small guitar. The first process when you're designing a guitar is to start thinking about what, what you're trying to achieve. Is the guitar going to be used for jazz? Is it going to be used for blues? Uh, what's the real purpose? Is it going to be a recording guitar primarily or is it going to be used on stage? Uh, or is it a combination of all of those? about the small guitar because the request came from Nick Webb and I knew his playing style I knew that that he was going to play a lot of a lot of the melody lines particularly on the guitar so the trebles um, which would be there because it was a small guitar but the trebles had to be um, round they had to have uh, they had to have th a three-dimensional quality to them you couldn't just let them be thin and brash they had to be warm and fat so I immediately thought, well, this is kind of a contradiction in terms for a, for a small guitar. So how can I revoice the guitar so that, um, that it's warmer, really, and so that it, there's more bass comes out than you would normally expect? So that was my sort of thinking process at the time. Um, so this is what I come up with. Now, I made some... I made some uh, geometric changes, if you say, if you like, to the shape, uh, in order to, and on some of the profiles, in order to reduce the tension in the back of the guitar, which I felt would um, would help the basses to come out. And in fact, that first model that I made for him, which was uh, a walnut cedar cedar top S model. Um, which would be like our S23 or S35 walnut cedar today. Um, it was so good that when I first strung it up, I can remember it in Bangor very well, I just didn't want to let it go. But because he was waiting for it in a studio in Germany, it had to go on the plane immediately. But I literally didn't want to let it go because I just loved the sound um, so much. Of course, it's progressed a bit since then. Now the guitars are, <clears throat> depending on the wood choice, you know, it might be better suited for blues if you choose, for example, if you chose mahogany. This is Honduras mahogany. Um, uh, with a cedar top or with a spruce top, you know, it might be better for blues. But for, for uh, a warmer sound, you might choose rosewood and sitka um, or rosewood and cedar. Uh, in his case, walnut and cedar produced a really warm, um, full side. Um, it's kind of surprising because it's, so, it's such, such a small guitar that um, it's quite uh, aggressive or something. It's quite like a powerful sound out of it, like it really rings out, it's, it's big. Um, uh, yeah, so that's good. It's quite, it's quite easy to play picking-wise as well. Like, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe, maybe the neck is slightly smaller too or something, but uh, it really uh, kind of jumps out at you when you play chords. This one is the S35 Honduras mahogany, beautiful three-dimensional wood um, with cedar with a cedar top, 
and the usual 35 appointments. Uh, Abalone rosette, um, and you know the back of head facing, matching the front. In this case, ebony. So. So it has it has a kind of very very immediate, some would say almost slightly boxy sound, you know, and that's not, that's only bad if you accompany boxy with brash, you know, but this can be very subtle if you play it easily, gently. It can be as gentle and as warm as you like, and if you dig in when you're playing blues. Um, it can be very strong, and that's an amazing bass for a small guitar, you know. And the usual loud and sustain, what can I say? <laughs> Still going. Still going. That's it. Ha, <laughs> ha,